All right, here we are. What's up? My name is Richard Ike. I'm based in Los Angeles. And no, this is not a slate. Good to be here. Happy New Year. All that jazz. I am an actor, writer, filmmaker, and drummer. And I'm here putting out a little video, uh, trying to provide some resources for people who may be uh, on the journey of becoming a working actor or Perhaps you are a working actor and you're just on the hunt for resources like me. I'm constantly you know, watching other people's content and seeing what's out there and seeing what works for me. So my goal is to put some stuff out and hopefully it'll resonate with you and you can use it in your toolbox. Um, that's it. I'm gonna be making two types of videos for actors. First type will be creative process and all of that sort of wacky stuff that we all have heard about or dove into ourselves. And today I'm doing a business oriented video where I'm just gonna be going over something simple. It's just how to organize your files on your computer. So I'm on my working on my Mac mini. Uh, if you have a laptop or a PC, Chromebook, whatever you, whatever you work on, you should be organizing your files for your acting business so that you don't lose track of stuff. And this is important because in your career as an actor, you're gonna be asked to show what you've done, talk about what you've done, present things. Uh, again, this is your business, so you're gonna be putting yourself out there to uh, show people that you uh, have a body of work, right? So you need to keep records of all this stuff and uh, be able to access it easily, right? You don't wanna be like freaking going, scrambling, looking for things. The reason that I ended up doing this in the first place was because I had thought that my organization was pretty good, but I did like a computer cleaning day, data sweep, whatever you want to call it. And I had files all over the place and I ended up just breaking it down file by file and finding the right place for everything. The whole thing being was I ended up getting signed by a new agency and I needed to make space on my computer because auditions started coming in. So I started self taping and I was editing on my computer and all of a sudden I'm like running out of space on my computer. So I'm like, I need to do a data sweep and clean my computer because I don't want to be caught in a pinch where my agent sends me a self tape or whatever it is. and it's due in a couple hours and I need to go and do it and focus on the acting part of it, not focusing on or worrying about like, do I have space on my iPhone? Do I have space on my computer to edit this and send it? So all of those things, that's why I ended up doing this so that I could just easily access it, delete shit off of my phone, delete shit off my computer if I needed to and keep what I needed and that was it. So. Yeah, you wanna have you know smooth systems for all of these things, especially self-taping. I, I, it, it's, it's the worst feeling if you get a wonderful opportunity and all of a sudden technical bullshit starts getting in the way. It's, it's honestly aggravating for everyone, even for those people who are good with um, video editing and computers and whatever. I think if you organize your files from the start you will be setting yourself up for success and you won't be worrying about uh, storage space or where things are if somebody asks you for something. So yeah, let's take a look. All right, let's jump into this. Open up your finder and go to your documents. A friend of mine a while back told me that I should never save anything onto my desktop because it uses a different part of the memory and it can slow your computer processing down. Uh, so if you are going to save uh, things, which I'm sure you will be, uh, do it in your documents folder and that saves to the proper place. So it won't uh, slow down your computer or take up too much space, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, take a look here. I have, this is my documents folder. So, you know, I have a drums folder, my family documents, blah, 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 blah. Uh, don't get at me about crypto and NFTs. Anyway, um, here's my acting folder. So, so we're gonna go straight to the acting folder. And this is how I have it broken down. Now, if there's anyone out there who has experience with this and there's something I'm missing, please let me know. Cause I've been like going over this in my mind. And I'm like, am I forgetting something? I feel like I'm forgetting stuff. So, and if I could break it down differently, whatever it is. Suggestions, I am open. All right, here we go. First, I got my acting business documents up top. 
in there I have a 2022 through now profit and loss sheet. If you don't know what that looks like, go ahead and check mine out. You just do your income and then you do your expenses, right? I can make a separate video on this. So I have profit and loss sheets. I have a business goals folder here. If you wanna do a business goals uh, thing, you should in the beginning of the year or anytime really, because you're gonna be reevaluating re and reassessing and uh, redoing them. So go ahead. You got profit and loss sheets, business goals. I have my contact list here that I need to drop in. I'm still working on it because my God, uh, I've been collecting business cards and people's contacts on Facebook and phone numbers, emails, uh, Instagram and all this stuff. And I have to like go through all of that because I should have been doing this as I was going. That's why I'm giving this to you. Um, yeah, keep a contact list. It's going to come in handy. So then uh, email marketing assets. Again, I don't have anything in here just yet and website assets, but this is where you can put things like um, any information, copy or uh, creative assets like photos uh, for your website, or anything, receipts related to your website, uh, anything, anything related to your site, put it there. Um, and same with email marketing. If you are someone who uses uh, MailChimp or like any of those softwares, this is where you can put that kind of stuff. So back to the next thing under SAG after documents. If you are a union member, this may come in handy. I get most of my documents now in my email. I don't download them so that I don't have anything in here just yet. But, uh, and I still need to pull stuff off my other drive like I was saying. So I'm gonna end up putting some things in here. Just don't have anything in here yet. Um, but this could be like your health and retirement stuff or um, voting stuff or uh, we just had the strike. So, you know, all of that could have been in here, whatever. You can organize it how you want. Next is acting classes. I most recently took a class at RD Studios, which is um, Robert Davanzo over here in North Hollywood slash Burbank. And uh, that's who, the only one I have in here on this computer. I do have Baron Brown and uh, the commercial class and uh, Killian's workshop and some other ones too. I forget. Uh, it's been it's been a while, but uh, I got to move all that stuff here as well. So if you have separate acting studios that you're going to make a folder for that, and then you, again you can break that down there. Now this is where things get important active assets. I named it active assets because these are all the things that I'm using right now uh, in my marketing slash materials, whatever you want to call them. Most people call them your materials, right? So things that you will need to get work. Passport record, COVID vaccination record, if you have one. Uh, Headshots, so I have my most recent headshot session in here, and these are uh, broken down into um, like the looks that I did beforehand, and then I did I have like the actual uh, large files for editing, the web size files, and then I have uh, just like screenshots of the one that the ones that I I knew I was going to use. Uh, so yeah, I have those broken down. So that's headshots. Again, these are the active headshots. Now, photo assets, also on my casting profile. So like me and my wife, and if I'm playing the drums, something you know that is not a headshot or it's just a photo. So if you're using these photos, you keep them there. Uh, resumes, these are active resumes. Keep the most up-to-date one there. Boom, there you go, got it. Anything that you need in addition, like a logo, you can keep it in here as well. Uh, active scripts, something that you're working on, you can have in here. Uh, if you're not working on it, move it. Video assets. Again, these are videos that are on my casting profiles, and uh, that's it. Currently there. Not old stuff. We'll get to that. So commercials, you have you know footage or whatever it is. Reels, you have different reels. I have a self-tape editing uh, library here for Final Cut. So I know when I have a tape I need to edit, I just go in here and I click self tapes and boom, it takes me there. And then I have skills clips and then I have TV scenes that I was able to get footage of. 
Uh, all right, next up, we have agency documents. Uh, I have a PR, I'm working with a PR agency right now, so I'm gonna drop my uh, contracts and stuff there, so public relations. I have commercial and print. I just signed with Love Talent Agency. They sent me this wonderful packet of contracts that I saved, of course. Now I have theatrical, which I'm not currently represented theatrically, but if I uh, had something else going on at the moment, that's where my contracts would be. Old assets. Again, <clears throat> this is important. Again, important to keep your old assets. You never know when you may need to pull something up or whatever. And you wanna be able to go back and look at your growth and see all these things. And you know, this is your body of work. You should be proud. So you have voiceover audio assets. I have acting clips. I have old headshots broken down by photographers and just random ones, old resumes. Scripts I have broken down to the commercial sides, film projects, plays, theatrical size. Again, this is all stuff that I'm not working on currently. Self tapes. I have commercial self tapes and I have theatrical self tapes. Blah, blah, blah. Video assets. These are old reels, old scenes, skills clips that I don't use right now. Old. All right, next you have payments and residuals. So you have commercial payments and you have theatrical payments. Uh, so yeah, I put my residual payments in there, all that stuff, yada, yada, yada. Social media assets. This is a big one here, a bigger folder. I have tons of photos that I could probably organize better, but just anything that you're going to end up posting anywhere, I'm probably going to end up breaking down a, this folder, social media assets into each platform. So Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, uh, you know, all of them. So and the thing is, a lot of stuff will end up being duplicates, but you'll have to edit them accord accordingly. So photos, videos, whatever. Uh, I have film and TV screen grabs. So like, you know, stuff like this that I can post on my Facebook or whatever it is. Uh, lifestyle photos that you could use for, or that you used to use for submissions, whatever it is. <clears throat> then I also have like my YouTube banner and that sort of thing. So that's all social media assets. Like I said, this folder will probably end up being uh, a bit more uh, specific. Tax documents, again, I get my stuff from SAG directly, but sometimes you'll get them from the payroll company. And uh, yeah, so that's, gonna, that's all gonna go in there. Um, I have the actor studio in here because I'm auditioning for the actor studio and I would like to become a member. So I'm manifesting that I'm gonna have more documents in here. Uh, work contracts, this is an, another important one. So film contracts, voiceover contracts, commercial contracts, TV contracts, okay? So get it all split up there. CD workshops, casting director workshops. Uh, these are videos that they let you keep and that you are not supposed to use. Mm -mm -mm. No show show, no show to nobody. Um, so yeah, I have uh, sides and the videos of my performances so I can go back and watch them if I need to and like know when I uh, did these workshops with who. You gotta know these things. Audition logs, this is an important one. I've got mine since I started. So I uh, started auditioning in 2015 and then I've got my 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And now I started my 2024 one with an audition, yes. So, um, yeah, you gotta keep an audition log. I'll do a separate video for audition logs. And that's pretty much it, that's it. So, I hope this helped. Uh, uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and I can maybe help you, maybe not. Maybe I just can't help you at all, so. Take this and run with it, you know, organize it the way that you want to, but I, I highly recommend it. It's definitely helped me. I'm still working on mine, so I'm like throwing files in here and there, and, and I'm still finding old stuff from other hard drives that I need to put into these new folders, so. Um, but this is just like a nice layout for you where you can build these folders, and you can just be dropping stuff into them as you go. Take it or leave it. See if I give a fuck. I hope that this is helpful. If you uh, need to contact me, please feel free to reach out. Disclaimer, I am not a coach. I'm not an acting teacher. I'm an actor. <laughs> All right, until the next one.
drop a comment. Let's talk. Let's chat. Uh, totally open to any sort of communication with the acting community. If there's anything that you want me to talk about uh, from my perspective and my experience uh, about the acting journey, just let me know. Happy to try to make something for you. Let's get it. So today, I'm, today I'm today I'm gonna shit. Today I'm gonna shit. Today I'm gonna share something simple 